Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to run the Google test from your Windows machine so you don't have to rely on the GL server to do your testing, because we all know how reliable that server is. First things first, grab WinSCP from the description below and run it. Put in your GL server credentials here just like you would for PuTTY and log in. Next thing is going to open up to your user home directory, We're just going to grab whatever project you're going for testing. I'm going to use project 3 just because it's a good one to test. And then just leave this open because we're going to need to come back to it in just a moment. So open up that project and your makefile underscore test. We're going to actually find the path to the Google test documents. So we're just going to open that guy up. And you can see up at the very top here, and for guest directory variable, we have the path to our Google test. I'm going to grab everything but the actual Google test folder and copy it. Makes life a little bit easier. Right click back over in WinSCP, open directory bookmark and just paste that guy in there. So we can just quickly navigate to that directory. You can see we've got our Google test 1.7.0 folder here. Just copy that to your desktop. All right, I'm gonna close this guy out. Instead of leaving it on my desktop, what I wanna do is I wanna put it in a folder that's gonna be much more easy to reference from the actual programs I'm writing. So I'm gonna drop up just my base C directory here so I can not have to type a huge path just to get access. We're done with WinSCP, so go ahead and close that out. And then I've got my Google test in my C directory. We're going to have to modify a couple files before we're actually ready to start testing. So open up whatever project you're running. Make file underscore test. We're going to have to modify that guy. So we're going to open him up with sublime text. Make life easy. All the way up here, again, guest directory. What we were just looking at to find the path on the GL server. Just take everything but the Google test folder and rename that to wherever you stored the actual Google test folder on your own computer. In my case, just C colon slash Google test, which is why I put it in C. Makes life easy. The next thing we need to modify is project three underscore test underscore public CPP. I already have that opened up and you can see at the top we're including the Google test header file. Again, you can see we've got the entire long GL server path. We're going to delete that and substitute it with our own path. In my case, once again, C colon slash which is why I chose that one. Nice and easy, right? So go ahead and save both of those guys, and all of our file modifications are done. But we're not quite done yet. We need to do one more thing to actually get them to run properly. Back to our MinGW installation manager, and if you haven't had that installed yet, go ahead and click the annotation, and it'll pull you to the video, show you how to do it. So we're going to need another library. So MinGW libraries, the far left here, scroll all the way down, we need pthreads-w32. Go ahead and check those three, because Google Test actually uses this library to compile and run its test. So apply those changes, hit apply, there you go. So we've got those installed. We're pretty much done at this point. So I'm going to open up CMD just to test this, make sure it's all working properly. Going to navigate to the folder in which we are keeping our project. So project three, there we go. Just list everything out. All right, so now we're going to make it and see what happens. So we're going to make all here, and you can see it's going through the motions going through the actual compilation of the Google test now and looks like it was completed successfully so let's test it out project 3 underscore test underscore public bam looks like we've got it up and running and and the Google test is functioning beautifully and there you go that's it now you can test your folders you don't have to rely on the GL server anymore and when you want to actually put your projects back on the GL server you can just open up WinSCP again log in just take your project folder and drag it back over to your user directory. And that's all you have to do. Makes it super easy and you don't have to rely on the GL server. <laughs> Happy coding, guys.